All right, so today I'm going to be talking about a brief history of data analytics. And really, you can't tell a brief history of data analytics if you don't know about data. So really, they, this, this can be said to be a brief history of data itself, not just data analytics. So where did we start getting data? The earliest example we have of human storing and analyzing data are the talistics. This, the Ishango bone was discovered in 1960 uh, in what is now Uganda, and is thought to be one of the earliest pieces of evidence of prehistoric data storage. Now, Paleo, paleo, paleolithic period or Paleolithic tribes, tribe people used to mark notches into sticks and bones to keep track of trading activities or supplies, right? They will compare the sticks and then they will know, okay, is our harvest going to be, do we have enough supplies or stuff like that? But really the first calculator, the first calculator in the world was the abacus, the first dedicated device constructed specifically to perform calculations, right? And this was in Babylon, Babylon, really in Babylon, the first libraries, where the first libraries kind of occurred. But the abacus, really, in modern times, most people don't know how to use it. But there are a special breed of people in Japan that actually use the abacus for mental arithmetic, it kind, of, kind of polishes their mental or, or kind of um, critical thinking skills. Let me just show you something. Just watch this. あなたが聞いてるのは、先生、ご利用ください。誰に自分は9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、9400、